Today's video is all about how I created this really easy DIY hoop wreath for summer. You want to see how I did it? Stick around for more. To get started, you will need your hoops. I got these from Michaels. They are floral hoops. I have peonies as the staple flower. And then I have extra accent flowers and greenery. You'll also need floral wire. For my project, I got started with the greenery and worked on placement and got everything trimmed down to begin. Once it's positioned where you uh, want it to be, you'll need to cut a piece of floral wire and essentially work to secure it down. I did this by wrapping it around, kind of working to create loops and get it tangled so that it stays secure. What you see me doing here is trying to secure that initial end of the floral wire. It is very sharp, so you want to be careful that you don't poke yourself with the ends and you can actually rip the flowers if you're not too careful. Because I started with a rather long piece of wire, I had to go around the flowers, but after I wrapped it a couple of times, it became a lot easier to weave it through, almost like you would do hand stitching with a needle. As you are wrapping the wire around, you want to be sure to pull tight each time to make sure that it is secure. Once you feel like it is secure enough, you can trim the excess. I realized that my piece wasn't secure enough, so I am adding more wire to another element of the branch to get it more secure on the hoop. This is what it looks like on the back side. You can see that there are just rounds and rounds of wire to get it to stay. Now I will begin working on the other side. First, making sure that I have the piece in its proper place and then taking the floor wire to create those same loops to get it secure to the hoop. Once those pieces were secure, I had to go back into, into my stash and I decided on these purple flowers as another statement piece. I didn't really love the pink ones that I had. They didn't really mesh with the eucalyptus that much. So again, you always want to start with positioning and making sure that you like where they are. And then from there, you can get them secured down with the wire.
here you just want to make sure that you like the positioning if something is off about it you could always cut the floor wire and redo it but here it was you know sufficient for me so i'm just trimming the excess I was also going to cut the stem of the flower that was remaining, but I decided that it could add extra security. So I'm now looping it around the hoop in the same way that I did the floor wire. And I found that that worked well again because that stem has wire in it and just add it with um, or add it some more stability. Now you're ready to do the same thing on the other side for symmetry. Again, you always want to adjust and check as you go along. Somehow that side got flipped over. The beauty with the wire is that you can twist and manipulate as much as you need to. Now it's time for me to add the peonies and I decided that I wanted some of the greenery that came with those flowers. And this part was a little tricky because you couldn't really use the floor wire like you could on the stems. So I had to pull out the hot glue gun. Just a disclaimer, after I went through this process with the hot glue gun, I then went back with some E6000 glue to make sure that it was extra sturdy. I essentially glued the leaf directly to the hoop and then the flowers were glued to those leaves. I also added some glue to the backside again just for extra security. You can see that the two leaf bases for those peonies have been glued onto the hoop. Now I'm going to work on getting the flower itself secured. You want to check your placement and then proceed. I used my hot glue gun here to get the peonies down. That process was repeated with the second flower you see down and now I'm working on the third center flower also using glue on the back of it to get it secured to the hoop. You'll want to flip it over and add a bit more glue again to secure it. Not shown here is the addition of the E6000 glue on the backside. What was helpful was being able to use some elements of the backside of the flower. And then essentially um, that allowed me to have another layer of having something glued to the hoop. I also went ahead and grabbed a little bit more of the floral wire because there were some spaces for me to be able to add some wire to the back of these peonies as well. Oops, 
Well, that didn't work. You can see that the ones on the outside are secure, but that middle flower needs a little bit more help. And that's when I had to go officially dig out that E6000. Now that everything is drying, it is time for me to work on the second wreath. I do have double doors, so anytime I make wreaths, I have to make two. I'm just going to run through this same exact process all over again. Well, once that one was done, I realized that something was missing. And so I went back into my stash and I found a little bit more greenery, but lighter. And then some picks that would give it a nice pop of pink. So I'm gonna, again, start with placement, make sure that they are where I want them to be, and then work through to make sure that they are as symmetrical as possible. And there you have it. I have two easy DIY hoop wreaths. Nice combination of green, pink, purple, and white. Perfect addition to your front door for summer. Take a moment to like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure that you subscribe while you're here, and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching today's video.